All right, I'm doing a quick video to summarize, mostly for my own benefit, how to change the oil in these hubs, because now that I've done it, it's not too bad. Um, <clears throat> so this is a double jet ski trailer. Uh, it's a 2005 Easy Loader. Boom, Easy Loader. Uh, galvanized. It's actually, it's been an amazing trailer. I've had it since 2009. Two years ago, went ahead and replaced the springs and basically refilled the hubs and put new seals in the hubs um, because I plan on putting a lot of miles on it now and <clears throat> when we did the springs I found these wet bolts so I just greased these so I put wet bolts there I think these springs still tweak a little bit um, I'm thinking about spraying some silicone or something on there although I don't think it'd be a lasting solution anyway what I wanted to summarize is on these hubs <clears throat> These are 1 8th, at least on mine, these are 1 8th NPT uh, threads. And I bought some, a five set of stainless cap screws on, or set screw, they're set screws or fill plugs or something on Amazon. 1 8th NPT. Um, <clears throat> this is the hub oil. This is the only hub oil I could find. Uh, they used to spec like, um, I think they used to spec like 50 weight and then they changed the spec to 80, 90 weight. I don't know. I think they were slightly overfilled the last time we did this about three years ago. I put like 5,000 miles on it in three years and that's where all this oil came from. So now I'm only filling them up about halfway. Let me go to the other side because that cap is a little more clear. <clears throat> yeah, there we go. So I've got it just about halfway or maybe slightly over halfway. I think they say two-thirds is what you're supposed to fill it at. Um, <clears throat> anyway, this one was wearing the tire a little bit more. This ski is heavier. This is a FXHO 2017. These skis are probably a little bit heavier than what this trailer was designed for. Uh, but I just wanted to show you these hubs. So the trick of how I got it here is basically to fill it with that hub oil until basically that hub oil moves super super slow so what you do is you fill it until you can't fill anymore it'll basically bubble up to here then you'll get an air bubble and then it's basically good to go and it'll fill it just below half and then I put um, I waited for an hour or so waited for it to settle and keep in mind it's like 70 or 80 degrees out here so it's not like it's 20 degrees and the stuff isn't full and it's really pretty thick it's like it's basically kind of gear oil 80 90 weight <clears throat> so I filled it um, till I couldn't fill this anymore waited about an hour it settled looked at where it was and then I put literally five seconds more fluid in it and that's where you get to where you are right now so I would imagine most of these oil filled hubs are about the same way and you fill it here and then it has to slowly come over here so it's really easy to overfill also when you drain the oil from these hubs my original thought was pull the plug, dump it over, and let it drain into one of these little containers. I built a little oil container out of this old oil bottle. Changed the oil in the truck yesterday. That did not work very well because <clears throat> there's no vent. You know, if you just turn it over with the plug out, there's no vent. So I went ahead and removed the caps and let it vent. Another, another trick for doing this is I've, you notice I've got it on two jacks right now. I basically took this level and put it here to make sure the trailer's level so that each side doesn't, you know, it's not complete, it's not super skewed as far as uh, which way it's level. So I can, I'm rest assured that both of these hubs basically have the same amount of, they have the same and the correct amount of oil in them. Here's my little uh, socket cap setup. And I might have one of those plugs available. Here's what those plugs look like when they're out. Not very big at all. What else can I show you? One of my tires is wearing a little bit weird. It's this one. <clears throat> the inside is wearing on that tire. And it might be because this is a stiffer ski, but you can see where it rubbed on the fender there. I don't like that at all, but I don't know what the solution is. We'll see. Would really like to put 14 inch rims on here. I just don't know how that'll work. We'll see that later. Also, my trailer has, it doesn't have studs 
it has lug bolts, which I don't have a trailer like that. So, first trailer I've ever had like that. Uh, that's all. Oh, last time I did not put any sealant on the on the plugs. This is what I plan to use this time. Loctite that. I bought this for something else. I can't remember. Like, I think it was a. I think it was the fill plug or drain plug for a differential. That's what I bought this for, I believe. So that's what I'll use. And let me give you another shot of that hub oil. Lucas hub oil. You can get this at O'Reilly. That's what's nice about it. All right, that's all.